do women prefer bad guys? Okay, this is the age old question in dating. This is the question that initially got me interested into looking into intergender psychology about six years ago. And it wasn't like how it was in the movies where guy turns up outside girl's window, serenades her, does a little dance, okay? Gets her loads of gifts, constantly turns up where she is. He confesses his love to her and then they live happily ever after, okay? It wasn't like that. I thought, where, it, where is the disconnect coming from, from what I see in movies, from what I see in stories, to what I see in real life? When someone is nice all the time, it comes across, it doesn't come across genuine. It doesn't even come across trustworthy because no one is happy and positive all the time. And if you're therefore nice everywhere you go to everyone, it can almost come across like you are scared to be anything but nice. It can almost come across like you're trying to avoid conflict, like you're trying to fly under the radar. And that is not attractive to anyone. This is the kind of qualities that make you a pushover. This is the kind of qualities that make people take advantage of you. Let me give you an example, right? Um, all of you can remember those substitute teachers in school who would come in and everyone's throwing papers around and they're messing about in the classroom and the substitute teacher just doesn't know how to put the class in its place. The, the substitute teacher doesn't want to shout, they, they, they don't want to be rude. Um, and what do the kids do in return? They're throwing papers around, they're dancing on tables, they're playing music from their phone. At least that's how it was in my school, okay? I don't know what it was like where you went to school. But now, now compare that to another teacher, strict teacher, good teacher, very rarely hands out high marks. This teacher is respectable, okay? This teacher is someone that everyone's like, hmm, yeah, this teacher knows their stuff, okay? Now, this teacher were to give you an A or say you are doing well, how much more does it mean than if the substitute teacher gives you an A or says you are doing well. So although they are both doing saying the same thing to you, the fact that one of them does it less frequently makes it more genuine, it's more trustworthy when the stricter teacher says you're doing well and gives you an A than when the substitute teacher does it. Because when the substitute teacher does it, it could be coming across like they're just scared to say any different, like they don't know any different, okay? So it's specific, the answer to the question is you can be nice, but it's about knowing when to not be nice. It's about knowing when to state your opinion differs from someone. It's about knowing when to be rude to someone when you need to. I don't think girls prefer nice or rude guys. They prefer nice guys who are able to be rude to them when it is necessary, okay? And what I mean by that is if a girl is treating a guy like shit, okay? And the guy does nothing and just continue like, oh, darling, I love you so much. And messages him in the morning like, how are you, beautiful? While she's being rude to him. Bro, none of you can sit here and tell me you're going to be attracted to that. None of you can sit me sit here and tell me you're going to be attracted to that. In those scenarios, you need someone to put you in your place and be like, excuse me, what is going on? We prefer nice people who are able and willing to be rude when the circumstances are called for. Just genuinely being yourself. Okay, embracing who you are. You can be nice to people, you can be positive to people, but if you are angry, you show it, okay? If you disagree with something, you say it. It's actually about embracing who you are as a person rather than it is faking being positive and nice all the time, or even faking being a bad guy to try and make yourself more attractive, okay? Let's tackle bad guys. Now, bad guys actually can come across quite attractive, and the reason is, from an evolutionary biology perspective, if someone is bad and they're dangerous, okay, they're quite elusive, from an evolutionary biology perspective, this means that they have not been put in their place, they have not been killed for behaving this way yet, right? Which means they're genetically quite sound, it means they're mentally quite strong, because they are behaving in a way that other people are not behaving, yet they are still behaving in that way, which means no one has put them in their place for it, which means no one has been able to put them in their place for it, which is a very attractive quality. Back in the caveman days, if someone had a very erratic way of acting that was very dangerous, they would have been killed, right? They would have been killed, they would have been exiled from the tribe. So if you translate that to modern day, someone who's very dangerous, very elusive, very kind of rude and mean, the only reason that that comes across attractive is it, it makes them very powerful. They have a very powerful aura to them. They have a very magnetizing aura to them because they are still acting that way. At however old they are, they are still acting that way, which means no one has been able to tame them. Versus now a nice guy. A nice guy, Although they're very lovable, although they're very like, oh, you're so nice. 
The reason that they the reason that they are not attractive is it almost seems like they have been tamed, they have been socially conditioned, or they are scared to say anything that is not nice. So yes, bad guys still can be attractive, but just don't be a dick. Alright, don't be a dick. And if you and if you are gonna be bad, it should just be a genuine side of you that comes out from time to time. You know, if someone if someone drinks your coffee. <laughs> You can freak out about that, okay? But don't just be mean for no reason, okay? Because you're gonna come come across uncongruent. Do not try to be something you're not, because you will slip up, okay? Your vibe, your aura, just everything about how you are, people can pick up subtle subtleties, okay? With how you behave today, how you behave the next day, how quick your replies are, how your texts are written. All of these give away something. Anyone embrace who you are, okay? If you if you are nice 80% of the time, but 20% of the time you're standing up for your opinions, you're disagreeing with certain things people have said, you're putting people in their place, and you are rude to people when they deserve it, that is the most attractive way to be.